Good morning guys on this very beautiful Sunday I'm not going to jump today because I did sports yesterday and all my body hurts I'm I need to take one day rest and sport tomorrow again but good morning on this beautiful Sunday from my beautiful office again we have a wet floor because it's uh, rained all night but that makes walking on the beach a little bit more easy I'm going to make a short video today because there is not that much news on Sunday so I will try to keep it short I think the biggest news today is that the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un that it's not certain if he's still alive or not there is a lot of doubt and it is a very often spoken subject in the news today because everybody wants to know if he's still alive I could even read and find some news articles that are now saying that if Kim Jong-un would die that we could see a Bitcoin crash in the market why? why? because North Korea has about 670 million dollar worth of Bitcoin so I don't know why that the market would crash with this amount of Bitcoin but I, I don't think that these amounts of Bitcoin can even crash the market at the moment because the market has um, matured and it's just not big enough amount but yet yeah, you never know <laughs> I just imagine let's see you have this guy who has a uh, who has some trust issues and uh, doesn't trust anybody else but himself and he bought a claimed stole confiscated six six hundred and seventy million worth of Bitcoin I didn't know I didn't know how we, they got them but some tell me they took the Bitcoins from exchanges and all that stuff so this guy who doesn't trust anybody in the world has 670 million worth of BTC so who owns the private key <laughs> if you don't trust anybody what do you do with your private key <laughs> maybe the 670 million worth of BTC are now just lost forever because some people will take their private key to the grave and I don't know for sure if he is dead a lot of um, gossips about it let's see it's a huge leader with a huge influence on all the world because he threatened to push the button a few more times and all that stuff so I don't know what this means for the world and for the economy but we will see but that's the biggest news and if it comes to governments having bitcoins you know he's still not topping the B Bulgaria <laughs> the, the, I think it's two years ago in the news was that Bulgaria owned 213,000 bitcoins so Bulgaria is owning 213,000 bitcoins that would put it at today's value 7.5 7.6 whatever uh, one half trillion or something yeah correct me if I'm wrong I think that would be more than the amount of gold Bulgaria has they could crash the market with 213,000 bitcoins but that would put and make Bil Bulgaria one of the richest European country if Bitcoin ever goes to the 1 million that was predicted by Raul Pal now I pronounce your name right there are more and more people saying that Bitcoin could go um, to 9k before halving uh, which would be really cool um, but of course everybody is waiting of a new all-time high and when the new all-time high will be there nobody knows but if you look at history and if you look at the all uh, and if you look at the halvings that we have seen till now it's mostly the year after the halving that gives us a new all-time high and let's see if history repeats if history repeats I think we will be partying 10 times as hard as normally because that because this bull run will be together with us becoming free out of lockdown so then there will be a huge need of parties a huge need of freedom celebrating activities 
and this together with the bull run oh my god i am already looking forward to this amazing time was there any other news no there was not that many other news yeah ron paul you know the the um president candidate from the states he is very bullish on bitcoin which i really like and he is very bearish on the fed and the printing sys money system he says it's going to collapse he says this is not we are not able to hold this situation and the whole dollar market and all the stuff and like the oil is crashing we are going to see a huge crash like the 1913 crisis and that would be positive for bitcoin he's saying he think bitcoin could be a real store of value for all people that want to that want to hedge their dollars into something more safe okay i arrived on the second part of my office as you can see it's a uh, low tide so there's not a lot of water and this is the second part of my office so that is my first uh, office it's where i work this is the second office this is where all the fishermen work and uh, catch the fish and bring the fish and the lobsters and everything to the first part of my office <laughs> it's a beautiful part and uh, maybe one of these days i will climb up the hill up there or something and uh, show you the view over there what maybe we need to try to go there now i just will try to go there and we just try to climb up there to get a bit of view you will join me let's see if we can go there and let's see if i can keep talking because we are only, only i'm only talking seven minutes now and let's see if i can make the video 10 or 15 minutes including the climb up the hill it's a beautiful walk guys but it's getting more beautiful we are almost nearing the hill i want to climb up there it's all there i'm going to climb up and you want to keep watching this video because i'm going to talk about opportunities in life while climbing this hill you will love the content keep watching what are you seeing okay this is a good one <clears throat> let me know what these things are they are all over the place over here comment below if you know what this is and what they are used for and why they are covered with leaves and all that stuff let me know your thoughts some asked me yesterday didi why are you chilling and promoting um debt card debit cards at the moment you're the bitcoin maximalist or crypto maximalist so why would you chill a debit card where you can spend bitcoins um why it's very easy because most of you guys are not ready for an all-in crypto life and because most of the people are not ready for an all in crypto life there is no mass adoption all over the world there is no it's not that all shops all over the world accept bitcoin direct bitcoin payments so that is a sign to me that most people the herd needs a step in between and in my opinion the step in between could be this crypto spending debit cards because you know i can still hold all my bitcoins my litecoins my whatever currencies you know and i can hold it to the moment to the moment i need to spend them in a store and in the moment i need to spend them in a store a store that doesn't accept direct bitcoins i just send a little bit of bitcoins to my debit card and then this card exchanges these bitcoins to whatever thai baht us dollar euro or indonesian rupiah wherever you are in the world so this simplifies the use of Bitcoin and it strengthens for many the position to huddle their Bitcoins longer. Because, you know, the other option is that people uh, need to sell their Bitcoins. And if you sell your Bitcoins, you're not going to sell like 25 euros of Bitcoins every time. Because it's just too many steps, it's too much work, it's too many fees. So why would you not support something that simplifies the usage of Bitcoin at the moment? I believe that all these companies, Wirex, Bitsa, and uh, now the newest one, uh, Emberly, 
I think they all have the same goal. I think they all have the same goal of mass adoption of crypto. And I think in the, in the future, and, and Wirex already did it, they will add a Bitcoin wallet, Litecoin wallet, and all other wallets to their app. And then you can also spend it directly in stores that accept Bitcoin directly. So they will be one of the biggest Bitcoin wallets, I think, in the future. And they simplify now the use of these Bitcoins through MasterCard and Visa for uh, a lot of people like me that live completely on Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies and we don't own banks anymore. So that's what I think about the cards. Uh, but thank for asking. And uh, again, you know, we have been using Wirex the last uh, couple of years uh, where we couldn't spend Bitcoin directly. Um, it was just the option for us to huddle Bitcoin exactly to the point we need to spend it. And um, we are testing Embly now. And if, you know, any other new car that's coming out, we will test it. Yeah, it's so beautiful in the morning. I started sporting yesterday. Oh my God, I still have like muscle, muscle pain everywhere. So I really need to start and uh, keep it up and take uh, some more training because um, I don't want to be this old guy that's not fit enough to run around with his kids and to play games with his kids and to play soccer in their games with the kids, you know? I want them to see this young father full of power, energy and strength. So that's why I need to start to train as well. To lead by example and show my kids it's important to be healthy, have a strong immune system, to face all viruses in your life. You know? It's just very important to stay healthy. When it comes to the Bitcoin price, oh my God, yeah. I've been reading a lot. Um, I'm trying to analyze as well because you know, I'm following this beautiful crypto uh, course. It's uh, the course of Crypto Crew University. Uh, the link to the course is in uh, the description, of course. The course is really cool. It's, it's amazing videos that simplify the really difficult area of cryptocurrency and trading. And uh, Steve does an amazing job in his videos and I, I just love him. I'm doing the course together with my daughter because she wants to learn some basics of trading, uh, trading as well. Um, I can only say that the course has made me already some profit because uh, the wisdom in it and also the wisdom in psychology behind trading is in it and Steve has been predicting the the most of the crashes still now like the 6 to the 3k and the, and the 20 to the 13k and and he also predicted the most of the short bull runs like you know the bull runs in between now we saw from 3 to 14k and all that stuff so he knows what he's talking about and I like uh, the way he simplifies this difficult world so if you want to if, if you want to follow a, a good starter course intermediate course or then just click the link in the description and uh, you will you will learn a lot about it let's see where I arrive here I arrive at some stones and all that stuff okay of course I have my Bitcoin flip-flops with me yes, because we see these stones don't walk. walk up the hill somehow. That's the beauty of Thailand. Eh? It's all nature, nature. Maybe we even see a huge snake, a tiger, a lion. Wow, can you hear the crickets? Oh my god, making videos make me sweat even more.
always love to explore these uh, places so that I know what is going on in Copenhagen, know what they are building, yeah, because if you, if, you, you know, if you keep researching the market or an island or anything else in the life, you might find new opportunities, which is really important. You need to find new opportunities because these new opportunities can provide you of the freedom you want to have. If you always close your eyes and just run the hamster wheel, you will not see these opportunities. And you really need, you really need to act on opportunities to change your life. Because else, you will never change your life. It's all about timing, it's all about beliefs, it's all about passion. And if you see an opportunity that you can combine with your passion and you can believe in it for a total 200,000 percent, then you need to go for it and do it. Just like we did. Many thought we were crazy, but we still did it because we believed. And now we find ourselves in this beautiful life. I call it a freedom digital nomad life that gives me views and makes me tired. <laughs> oh my god. Look, so you can build your house and have this amazing view of this amazing bay. You need to grab life by the balls if you want to change life. Yes, I'm tired. Yes, my condition is not as good as it was because I'm spending too much time behind my computer editing videos and training. We can even go a little bit higher. I need to watch out because they have a lot of snakes here. But just, I already started training yesterday and decided to make a long walk this morning so you guys could enjoy a different office and I could walk out the muscle pain but I wasn't intending to climb a hill <laughs> this one will increase the muscle pain probably I need a private coach wow okay back on the top somebody that loved any car was here I need that I need check who doesn't want to build a house up here with this view it's so beautiful how green Copangan still is I think it's because we don't have an airport here and because the lack of an airport most mass tourism is not coming here and this is how you keep an island green they call it the green island and not for nothing because you can see it's all it's all still hills and all the shoreline you don't even see hotels because they're not allowed to build hotels higher as the palm trees so that keeps the island a beautiful greenish look and tropical look which it needs to maintain I think I'm so in love with this island man and that's why you need to check houseofdow.io I'm an ambassador for them yes I know I talk a lot about them because it's been because I believe in them houseofdow.io is being built on Copangan for digital nomad people that want to live and work in this beautiful environment and build a new future based on blockchain crypto and other decentralized options you know this is the place where you can in a cheap way start to build you know what you want to build because the cost of living are not high the life is amazing the food is amazing the people are amazing and I think when you you always need a month to acclimate because the first month you will only spend on the beaches and the bars and the beach and the bars but after this month you will understand that you can combine working and living 
together on one of the most beautiful islands in the world. And that is exactly what House of Dao is building here. So check the website houseofdao.io. Here in the island there are opportunities. This is what I just talked about. You need to grab the opportunities when you see them and when they are your passion. If blockchain, if crypto is your passion, this is one of those opportunities. Living and working on a beautiful island and building a bright new decentralized future together. For now, enjoy the view. This is also the end of the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm sweating for you guys, as you can see. I'm sweating. Please, subscribe, like, share. Thank you for listening to this video and watching this video. I wish you an amazing Sunday. Make the best of the Sunday and of every other day of the week. Live life Baby, in the fullest 24-7. I keep repeating for because it's all up else. to you. I've got one to thing on my mind. I already tomorrow, hear the bells. Everything about you calling out to me. I got to hold Yeah. Baby, I'm not running. Looking for nobody else I've got one thing on my mind I already hear the bells I'm a victim of love Calling out to heaven above for Yeah I don't know.